yeah, I mean, uh, what, so what, what book are you no, reading? No, so just like, like, just say at some point, yeah. what what book do you have on the go? What book do you have on the go? Because then yeah, yeah, that yeah. sort of insinuates that I read all the time. All it's right. not even that big deal. Sure, okay, yeah. Ready? Should we go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Shh. Is- Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Lack of Focus podcast with me, Matt Bentley, and with me today, as usual, is Harvey Quinn. Harvey. Good afternoon. Good morning. It is the morning. Yeah. Good yeah. morning. But good yeah. stuff. It's nice. Um, uh, Harvey, we haven't seen each other for the whole weekend. For the whole weekend, we haven't, we haven't even spoken. Um, Not really. For the whole weekend. Yeah. So um, at last, we might actually have something to sort of topic. Talk- yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, if you are listening to this show, and it is a show, and it is uh, a show. live, and you should be listening to it live uh, because we record it live, then you're going to get the benefits of this episode because if you are, then you'll know that the weekend just gone was a scorcher here in London uh, and the summer officially kicked off. If, however, you're selfish mm-hmm. and an idiot, then you're probably listening to this in sort of March next year, which you're just not going to get the benefits of it because you, we're, you, you're going to be sat there and it's, oh, the hollow month of March, all shit and sad. And actually, you could have just been there in the moment with us rem- reminiscing yeah. about a great weekend. Instead... You're feeling very stupid, I imagine. Very left out, mm. out in the cold, mm. um, ostracized. But just to say, love the energy for this. Ostracizing and out in the cold. Yeah, we have been getting a few complaints that the uh, the club, and this is a club in a way, is growing too rapidly. They're getting too many listeners. Yeah. So I did just want to say, remember everybody who's here now listening, gatekeeping's cool. Don't yeah. spread this. Don't let other. Don't tell other people about this. Don't. If you down the pub and they oh, we listen to the moment. Shh, keep that shit to yourself, okay? Yeah. Because let's call it spade a spade. The odds of your friends actually being sort of on point with you and us is very, very, very unlikely. It's never going to happen. Have you ever brought your friend to something and they're like, I don't get it. It's like it'd be. Oh. It's that's the worst. Yeah. And it's all it's 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 anyone. It's it, it happens every single time. Yeah. Or worse, what I get or worse. They sort of go, oh no, yeah, I've I've I really I, like it. I, I, I've always loved them. And then you, you tell like a third party friend, mm. oh, you listen to the Lack of Focus podcast. Oh yeah, we've yeah. listened to it for ages. Sorry, sorry, we. Yeah. What? What do you mean we? You bet, bet, you're, bet you're laughing at the wrong bits as well. Aren't bet you? you're laughing at all the wrong bits. All the wrong bits. Do you even, do you even know their own character? No. Oh. Mental. Mental. Awful. Harvey, how was your weekend? Um. Well, I mean, as as we said, scorcher. Mm. A lot of the time I spent, well, I spent I spent the weekend doing two things. Uh, one, sunning myself, uh, drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid idea, really. Yeah, yeah. Again, we discussed this before, borrowing happiness from the future. Yeah. Doesn't, and then you're left empty. Well, we, we were discussing it off off mic. With one of our producers. Yeah, so, yeah. actually, again, just trying to, just yeah, yeah, yeah. as I'm training Harvey here yeah, yeah, into, yeah, yeah, social, yeah. into the world, yeah, yeah, know, yeah, just because yeah, yeah. we've had a conversation, unless that little red dot's going on the camera, yeah, yeah no yeah. one else knows about it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. We'll second about, thing I've been doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, basically sort of avoiding invitations to the BAFTAs. Oh, well I done. I couldn't stop getting letters yeah, 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 through yeah, my door. Yeah. I couldn't open my door. Well, you don't do letters in the first place. Harvey, exactly. Burns, if, you, if, you, if you're new to this podcast, obviously fuck off, but if you are new to this podcast... Um, Harvey burns all, all all mail on delivery. All mail is burnt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the winter months, that's very useful for me because it's uh, kindling. In the summer, just it is more of a, a task for you, isn't it? It's annoying. Yeah, I have to go down to the dump um, <laughs> with a box of matches. It's not. It's a nightmare. Um, but yeah, I got so many letters. The only thing I can compare it to, really, that, that, that's similar to my to, to in my life, is uh, is Valentine's Day. Just when I get constantly. loads and loads of letters. Um, now, can I shock you? I'm surprised that the the, the BAFTAs are still. Was it the, the TV BAFTAs tonight? Yeah, yeah, the less good ones. So, is that the equivalency of the Oscars and the Golden Globes? So, the Golden Globes is for just sort of any shit muncher to turn up to. Pretty much, yeah. And the Oscars is only if you're really, really, really horrible and you've done something terrible in your life to get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. If you're really, really, really embedded within the and, industry. And as we discussed uh, last week, the, the Olivier's are the only really okay ones to, to receive and go to. They're the only ones because getting an Olivier award is, is it's a bit niche, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to have done it at least sort of like... I don't know, nine actual shows, which is fucking tough. <laughs> it's fucking hard. Yeah, it's bloody hard stuff. Yeah, um, I tapped out of, the, of half of, I did half a show. The, ba- the, 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 the BAFTAs, uh, did you, this is, did you, I so I saw, there's a photographer, uh, Greg, and uh, I've forgotten his name, but he's a very famous photographer all over the gram, and he says the BAFTAs are, he's Brit, 
He's a okay. British guy, otherwise I wouldn't mention him. Yeah. Um, but he says the, the BAFTAs are his favourite event to photograph because Why? they're in, around this time of year, um, the very, very long evenings. And it's uh, normally at the Royal Albert Hall. Royal Albert Hall? I think it's at the Albert Hall, it's in, yeah. it's, in, it's in town somewhere. somewhere. And he says that's sort of like twilighty, dusky sun going down over the shadows of London through black and white film with everyone in tuxes gives the closest feeling he has to old Hollywood. Where yeah. it's like you can make someone who's like just a complete shit muncher like Remy Malik yeah, yeah, look yeah. like an icon just because he's through just like the lens of just like this this like amazing sort of way. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well no, cool spade a spade, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. He's not even British though, is he? So why is he at the BAFTAs? Um, I think it is only British people allowed and I do think they check your passport at the door I, I could be wrong yeah oh oh, here's something that I really really couldn't get can you explain to me why anyone gives a shit about the Eurovision con- Song Contest easy for you to say um, easy for you to say I, so <laughs> I do you care no did you well, watch it no have you um, ever watched it I've watched it yeah I've watched it um, now it goes without saying that it is it, Graham Norton is hilarious yeah great fair play um, fair play to him I mean, he is genuinely one it, of the wittiest people in the world. Because it was Terry Wogan that did it for years, wasn't it? No idea. So I yeah, Wogan, know, Wogan. All I know is that it comes up, it, that they gave us ABBA, which personally I'm really grateful for. They're because Jesus, yeah. does your mama know you're out? It's got to dun 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 dun. And that intro, I mean, honestly, that's if you see me at the gym, you won't, because yeah. I go to a very posh private gym. Of course. <laughs> they won't let you in. They Sue. won't let you they, in. They won't let Harvey in. They won't let me in. <laughs> Yeah. Harvey did, did for a while. So pretend, many times. He pretended to live in the building I for a did, while. Yeah. They had an apartment. I did, and he yeah. just went to the gym with me for like a year. For a year. I just walked in. <laughs> Do you know what? There's, you know what? there's, there's power. There's, there's no way they've cl- they, they've clamped down on that. He just moved to East London and stopped doing it. It's not, yeah, I can't be bothered. It was amazing. I just walked in and I just signed my name yeah. in the book. Yeah. No one battled an eyelid. Honestly, it was amazing. I, I know. I, I, it's, yeah, I, I mean, and they, they are really, really, really dickish about who they let in there. But to be fair, you do fit the bill of someone that should just be there. Probably, yeah. Probably. yeah, yeah Don't know if that's yeah. a compliment or not. Yeah. Probably isn't, but... It's look. just you and Lily Allen's brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, I won't say his name. Alfie. I, I, don't <laughs> ruin it. Um, yeah, um, Eurovision. I... <sighs> No, I mean, yeah, ABBA. The ABBA's the only thing that's really good that's come out of Eurovision, I think. And maybe, what was that band? They were like Finnish and they had like metal masks and stuff. They're weird. I think they're yeah. Lordy. Um, the, 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 I don't know, the guy, he's, oh, tricky situation here. I was going to say the guy with the beard, but he's a, it looks, he's got very long hair, very effeminate, but has the beard. beard yeah, yeah, beard. yeah, 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 I've seen. And then, and then it wasn't, it was, it was it Italy that won a few years ago. I, don't I only, know, only find mean, out. win one? Well, it's so, like, honestly, so two things happened over the weekend. I had a, I had a very, very, I had a top weekend, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Can I, can I explain my weekend? Please do, please do, yeah. Fridays, I normally uh, are days where I just sort of fill myself with anxiety to the point that I have to make some content and work. Sure, yeah. So I, 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 I please appease my, uh, my my masterful overlord TikTok and make some t- content, basically. Content. But this Friday, because the sun was out, I just thought, sack that off. Mm. I've been penciled for a few jobs lately. They're going to come rolling in. Of course. So I'm going to take the I'm going to take the day off. So I went to the park and I and I read my book. Um, what are, you, what are you reading at the moment? Uh, at, the, at the moment, it's I've got the uh, John. Um, <laughs> J- wait a second. Uh, oh, with the, oh, this it's called the Collector by John Faust. Brilliant. What is book. it about? Uh, it's <laughs> thank you very much for bringing it up. This well, uh, you know. well, just to, if readers want to get sort of into my psyche. Yeah. Um, a man. It's 1963, and he kidnaps. Uh, he's a he's a collects butterfly, and he ki- kidnaps a girl out of Hampstead, and builds a cellar for her. In his in his house out in the country. Oh, well, you, you said something just before that. Go on. She, you co- he collects butterflies. He collects butterflies first. But then you just but you he, he, he jumps to, from butterflies yeah, to human beings immediately. Big, like, oh, it's a jump. It's a big jump. And you hear it from his narrative, right? Surely it, his equipment is not a. It's not. He has to. But he wins the he wins the lottery or the equivalency and he's, in it's a big net. <laughs> Huge net. <laughs> Huge net. And, and no joke, a lot of chlorophyll. Yeah, um, yeah of And course. he puts it in the back of the van, builds the cellar for her out on the sticks. And the first half of the book is from his perspective. Yeah. He doesn't want to do anything sexual with her. He just wants to, her to be around with him. And then the second half of the book is her perspective. And I've just got to the second half of the book. Fine. It is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant book. Cool. Uh, and I really recommend it to anybody. Um, so I was in the park reading, reading my book, as I, as I do a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads. And then um, went to the pub at four o'clock and got rip roaring drunk. Good uh, in the sun. But Saturday, yeah. I went up to the top of Primrose Hill. Ooh. Firstly, I wanted to have a day to myself, so I played a bit of tennis in the morning with some people, and then 
<sighs> Someone said, uh, my friend Charlie was like, uh, oh, we're going to watch the, the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. Did you you at, did watch at, it? At Rupert's. And then we're going to go up to Primrose Hill to watch the Northern Lights. And I was like, okay, <sighs> I... Is that, is that are we doing this? Are we watching the Eurovision? Are we, are yeah. we doing this? Is that, is that what you did? That we, yeah, I mean, we did. What did you think of it? I hated it, and I got to the point where I was like, Charlie, I'm I'm quite tired now, mate. How how, how many hours did you? Dude, how, dude. So I got there late. I got there at like, I got there at like nine thirty, and you'd already, already be on for like, it'd already been on since eight o'clock, right? Yeah. And so, and then I I said to him like, mate, I'm I, I'm going to go to Primrose Hill now. It got to eleven o'clock. <laughs> it's eleven o'clock. Yeah. And if I I'm going to drive us there. But if you don't come to Primrose Hill now, I'm gonna. Uh, I swear, I'm going home. But I'm yeah. not watching the end of this show. Yeah, and I got a bit cross about it because I was like, "It's so shit. I yeah. don't understand the appeal of it." Sure. I, I mean, look, it's like the whole Doctor Who. Wh why are you? Like, why do you enjoy it? I don't get it. But then I went to Primrose Hill with two thousand other f idiots. Yeah, to did see the Northern Lights? Like, did we fuck, bro? Did you? Honestly, and also, did we fuck? You know, you know. So, so for any of the uh, the people that are watching this late. Idiots. Oh yeah. Um, see, this is why don't if you miss the episode, just never listen to it. Just forget about it. Forget about it. Just man. put it on for just put it on for and you know miss out on all the good things. Um yeah, the, the the Northern Lights were visible from from the UK on Friday night. Um but they weren't really, were they? Well I mean It was just a bit of is a bit of like pink haze. I just People got so excited about it. It's like it's just light, mate. It's not I'll tell you what it was like on on well, it's just it's just <laughs> light. Say that about anything there, boy. Well, yeah, but Let's dress strip it all back. Yeah, just it's just lights. Yeah, it's just uh, what? Careful. Do, do, do you know what I mean? It's like what? Well, like <laughs> it's not that exciting. I just like yeah, that's nice, and then go back inside. Yeah, that is all it does really take. To be fair, yeah. Um, and it's not like a solar eclipse where you should go and watch it because if you really want to see the Northern Lights, just go to Denmark. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said yeah. Denmark. Well, you can see it from Denmark, yeah, and Sweden, and like, so any of the Nor any of the, like Scandinavia, basically. Got away with that then. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, no, so we, I mean, look, we we got up the hill, and in my youth, um, up until I was around about twenty three, so from about fifteen to twenty three years old, without fail, every New Year's Eve, I would go up Primrose Hill. It's just what I did, and uh, when cool. I was very blackout drunk, quite a lot, uh, around the age of twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Yeah. I would leave a bar called Joe's in, yep. uh, in Chalk Farm in Camden, and then me and my friends would they kick us out at three o'clock in the morning when the lights came on, and um, then we would get to the bottom of Primrose Hill. Yeah, and we would always quote to each other um, the Lord of the Rings thing. It was like I can't carry the ring, Mister Frodo, <laughs> but I can carry you. <laughs> and then and uh, we were taking turns as to which one got carried up the hill, uh, every, 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 sort of like three times a week. Brilliant. Um, and uh, it was, so being up on the hill did bring back a lot of memories what i can tell you is that everyone's suddenly gotten very 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 young have they everyone was very young up there really it was very odd in camden children no primrose hill everyone oh, not primrose well, yeah hill. fine yeah yeah but um, I mean, it is camden and it was like new year's eve without all of the crime and violence i find and yeah. but it was a hot summer's evening so that's I imagine, what i mean I imagine when you say young do you mean that the, the loads of young families were there with their kids? No, man. Mean I mean, like, I mean, like, teenagers. sort of teenagers. That, yeah, all teenagers. So I, naturally being a cautious man, was just like, this is this is someone someone's going to kick off here. But it didn't. Yeah, it was fine. But you know, on New Year's Eve, the countdown happens and you leave. Yeah, <laughs> there was nothing to say. <laughs> there was no. We weren't going to see the fucking lights. No, no so way. So it just you had to take it upon yourself to be like, should we just leave then? And yeah, then we, just, we just sort of just left. What time did you leave? One o'clock in the morning. <laughs> what did you do after that? Just went home. Uh, just drove, drove uh, Charlie back to Labbot Grove. Drove uh, Rupert back Rupert. to uh, to, uh, to Maida Vale. Have, do, have, so you've seen Rupert since we had that? Has he mentioned at all the jingle since? Because he did say he did ah, do it. Good point, well made. No, he he hasn't mentioned the jingle. Ah. Oh. Um. Yeah, Rupert. But that's good to call. Don't he doesn't listen to this. He does. He not. No. Oh, but I thought you said... No. No. You watched you? the clips that I clipped together. Oh, fine. Well, that's half the game. But that comes to him. Yeah, very much that's comes just to him. fucking for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean? Um, you have to seek this one out. It's, it well, is, so it that is. was that was my whole... That was my weekend. That was what I did. Nice. Um, you, you didn't watch the BAFTAs. No, what, no. Why would I? No, no. Why would I? It's a it's an award ceremony. I didn't TV. even know who was. Uh, I didn't know who who was nominated. I stuff. didn't know either. Um, I think I I, I did see, uh, and this is obviously because I'm you know I'm very self involved. I did see that Casualty won a BAFTA, and that's all to you. And that's all. That probably is all for it's me. Kind of your vibe, isn't it? Sort of my vibe. Do you know what I mean? That's sort of. 
I did get, I mean, I was, I am in it for briefly. So I think that that BAFTA just, and also actually. Have you, you don't know when your episodes come out though? No idea. Out, yeah. I presume I would know if it came out because my auntie you, would be like, I saw you on TV last night. Yeah, you might know actually if, yeah, if, you, yeah. if you, they won't ever tell you when your show's coming No, of course not. Out, no. no, of course not. No. Um, but also, yeah, I think The Witcher won Best Special Effects, which is, again, very, I think, because of me. Whoa, they got the best special effects? I think they won Best Special Effects or something. One of those. Ooh, okay. VFX. What got the worst? I'm joking. I'm a bit bitter because I've been on pencil now. For, well, I, I clearly didn't get The Witcher job, so I'm back to hating the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or yeah. not hating, just being completely... Bi- ambivalent. Ambivalent, you know? indifference to it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I, I'm not <laughs> in anymore either, so, you know. Are you not? Take it I thought they're going to bring back Radcliffe. Well, I, 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 I did start a very, very tedious campaign. How'd it um, go? How'd it go? Not, not very well. Yeah, because you're a leader of men, so I can imagine exactly. if well, you really want saying. people to get rallied up, they then I would it. do it. Yeah, I would, I would. There would be protests outside your Netflix it, HQ. Your heart wasn't in it. Heart wasn't in it. No. I had other things on. You've man. got other stuff I've on. Got loads of other stuff. You on. can't be. Book, okay. you, you know, as what, said, another nine weeks of filming. No, thank no, you. No, I'm all right actually. You know, I've, got, I've got walls. Yeah. To, I've got climbing walls to go to. Exactly. I've got letters to. I've got tripods to set up. I've watched myself climbing up walls. Exactly. I've got letters that I don't even have a tripod. Do you not? I just put my phone against. The wall or whatever. Or like an angle or whatever. An angle. Can I tell you something about your climbing wall uh, content that you made? Sure. Um, it's twofold. It's 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 very impressive, but there's no way of knowing if... It's it's why I don't understand the show um, Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah. There's no way of knowing if you're good or bad. Because yeah, the vast majority of people, quite rightly, mm. have no idea about rock climbing, right? You yeah. go and watch a film like Free Solo and you're like... That gives me the fucking heebie-jeebies. Yeah. The guy's a bit of a legend, but there's you're a bit fucked up in the head. Cool. It's chaos. Yeah. Shake Calm Dancing. Yeah. All these people watch at home, and they're only no one has a fucking clue if it's good or bad. No, of course, well, unless you're a dancer, I guess. Yeah, I mean, generally, how many people dancers dance? are I mean, there? You just sort of like forty. It's like with with the Great British Bake Off as well. You go and you see this guy. He's making a beautiful cake, mm. and then just like that absolute fucking wanker, poor Hollywood, who really is a fucking. Do you think? Wanker. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Do you think? Why do you think? Paul Hollywood's a bell end, mate. Do you reckon? He's the most arrogant, horrible. Like he's just like he's not. He's quite nice. He's not like Simon Cowell was. No, I think he is. Do you reckon? I think he's like. Listen, bruv, you're 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 baking. You're a bake. You're you're a baker. <laughs> yeah. And you you lording it over people like slagging them off about yeah he's an arsehole. I don't think he ever slags anyone off though. I thought that was I his am, whole thing. Have you ever watched an episode? Loads. Yeah. I'm yeah. shocked that you even remotely because he because like he does a handshake, doesn't he? he d- everyone yeah, everyone wants a handshake. As if he thinks he's like he's so oh is oh is a handshake. But he is a good baker though, isn't he? No, I, have you ever seen him bake? Yeah, he had a he had a TV show. Um, he's got a TV show now. No, but it was like him like but like, actually it was, like instructional like baking stuff. I, think, I presume he wouldn't mm. just get the job because his name's Paul Hollywood and he's got twinkly eyes. I think that doesn't it doesn't work like that, Matt. People don't get jobs based on what they look like and like whether or not they're appealing. They get them because of their expertise. Yeah, I really think he's a he's a wanker. Okay, put him on the list. Actually, put him on the list. Yeah, what well, it's getting quite large. Well, it's getting quite large. People should um, be such arseholes these times. That's true. That's true. I reckon they've got a few, fair few. So parties. that's your climbing wall thing. It is impressive, but no one can actually tell if it's so, impressive. F- that's it's funny you say that actually because uh, I'm not. Yeah, I would say I'm intermediate. So when like, I first met Harvey, I kept level. I kept telling everyone and then my mate, my new mate Harvey, I'm like, he's probably one of the best climbers in London. Oh God! And um, they were just like, how on earth have you measured that? The thing is, <laughs> I could an say that. Thing to say, <laughs> I could just say that, and people wouldn't. Because you said, like, people don't know. Yes, exactly. I was like, well, I, do you know what? I'm in... You could Actually, that's just a lesson for life. You can say whatever you like, because people won't check. No one's checking shit, man. No one's checking. It's like me going to the gym and signing in. They're not checking. Does no. he actually have a membership? Does he live in the building? They're no. not... They're too busy worrying about their own their stress own and bullshit and, like... That's it. And, and oh, w- w- will she shag me? I don't... Do you know what I mean? They're all thinking about their own stuff. That's it. They're not thinking about... And that could be a guy or a girl. It, that could be a guy or a girl. Exactly. So don't, you're not going to get me on a technicality. You're not going to get me on a technicality. You're not going to come for my co-host. Exactly. I'm um, uncancellable. Huh? I'm un- we're uncancellable, I would say. Okay. Because what what's happened is, we've already... Like, our producers, they're already... We've don't already dragged their name into you, the muck. You hire three producers. I hire three more. One's got a company car. I've, I've hired three more. It's, the man doesn't have a job. We've got we don't six get paid now. for this. No. We pay them. Yeah, but I, I figured that producers, are in, in a way... Go on. They're sort of like... Um, Pokemon cards no, or, uh, or 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 like or like um, hairstyle changes. The more you have, the better. 
you know what I mean? The more you have, I agree with the, the hairstyle better. changes, and I'm now seeing it slightly more from your point of view. Exactly. And I'm going to do some research into that. Yeah. I'll tell you what the producers have been doing recently, yeah. which is pretty fucking annoying, yeah. is uh, they have been reaching out to potential guests for this yes. podcast. Um, yeah. So I've, you know, I, I gave them a sort of brief to tell these guys, which was basically, yeah. we don't want you here. No. Um, you know, you you're being you're being insisted upon us, yeah. and you're gonna sit in that little chair there. We might have to move studio. I know. We might have uh, to move to studio one. Well, yeah. Do you know who goes to studio one, mate? Plebs. Shit munches. Shit munches. Yeah, exactly. This is studio two. Studio is. But if we have a guest in, we're gonna have to do that. So there's there's a few lined up. I won't say who they are. Mm. Um, but if they're they're people who are sort of um my level TikTok. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the word famous. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and <laughs> why wouldn't you? Um, they are. Um, one one replied and said, uh, you know, I don't I don't really do podcasts, but um, I mean, yours. I, I I will come and do yours. Yeah. Um, he wants they they want they want to plug their stuff, do they? Well, that's that's the uh, you know people They've seen just the want to and They've seen the numbers. They say this is how this is how we go to the next level. Yeah, this is how it's done. Keep my poxy running videos. One of them's a runner. Oh, oh really? Yeah. But what are we going to talk about? Doesn't matter. You've done running, haven't you? Oh, yeah, but I don't want to talk Harvey, about Harvey, it for Harvey, an hour. Harvey, 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 Harvey. If they come on our show. It's on them to make up the conversation. It's true. Nothing to do with us. Producers want to give some questions there, to ask them. About... Fine, but I will do it. I will drag my feet through that interview. Yeah. Okay, and it will be an interview. And it will be an interview. And, I will, you know and it will be a rub. I will Should we just go it? Paxman on them? Like full on <laughs> Paxman and just and just like drill them on, yeah. on foreign policy. And Q8. Yeah. Q, yeah, what I do think, you think about Q8? I don't even know where Q8 you is. You could put a wacky tacky tie on. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Oh, no, that's, that's not Paxman, that's Snow. Is that John Snow? John Snow wears the wacky tacky ties. Paxman is just a is just, just a, a horrible scary, bastard. Yeah. Scary bastard. Just a nasty bastard. Who made Russell Brand look very, very silly. He did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell he me did. a joke now, well, Russell. Russell made hey, himself Russell, look joke silly. Joke your way out of this one, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Paxman's like, Russell, please, honestly, just answer the bloody question, mate. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about <laughs> like, yeah? <laughs> what do you actually think about <laughs> diplomacy? <laughs> well, this is about Yeah. Yeah. Ridiculous. What are you doing? Um, um, take that fucking scarf off. Um, yeah, so you've got new producers, yeah, more producers. Yeah. Because anyone that's watching the show... And you should be watching. And you should be watching the show, and it is a show. Re record it. I think the key thing we're missing is, is production. We need more 100%. production. 100%. We need more production. 100%. This isn't real brick. Exactly. No. This is hollow. Which is mental. This is plasterboard. Like, why would they print it on... Because that side is real brick, so it does give the illusion of it. But I never, I think our camera looks pretty legit. Why would they not have that camera? That why would we not use that wall then? Um, did you have anything else you wanted to sort of talk about today? Or well, we talked about your book. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I want to. Like, have you? Have you? What else have you been? Well, I kind of wanted to um, tipple on the, the 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 big the big weekends, the big sunny weekends in London. Yeah. Whilst I go off and have a really really good time. I do then think about the idea, without bringing the mood down too much, of loneliness. Because, <laughs> seriously, yeah. the concept of, like, how, like, I don't know, just, like, not having someone to you go sure? to the fucking... Park with, park, park, yeah, park, man, with I, park with, and um, I think that's true for 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 a lot of cities. London's definitely up there in that. Like, if you if you, it's the bit one of the busiest cities on earth, but it can be like the loneliest fucking place. It's such a cliche, but it's such a true. It's a cliche. Yeah. It's a true cliche. Yeah. Do you find? Do you think your friends hate you? I ha sometimes I feel that they do. Yeah. Like like. It's important. I think that everyone should yeah, just know yeah. this. Listen. Ye yesterday. Listen. <laughs> yesterday I sat. Just in my flat, obviously I'd been drinking on Saturday, so I was like fucking really, really anxious and hungover. Yeah. And I was just like, I, I, I just convinced myself that everyone that I was, I was too scared to text anyone because I'd be mm. like, they don't, they don't want to hear from me. Yeah. They're gonna be <clears throat> fucking pissed off that that I've texted them. Yeah. It's just like, and I know, but also I know that that's, I know that's not true. In my brain, but in my heart, I no, it is true. Yeah. It's like, and I can't, I can't. It's so hard to pull myself out of it. And like I'm just yeah, I'm just sitting there just like as a nervous like wreck all of Sunday. And like I texted you and I was like, 
I told you that, and yeah. you're like, yeah, same. Of course, yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Sat there completely just ring. I mean, I wasn't too bad because I'm now doing, and I recommend this to anybody of any age, um, go to your local pharmacy uh, and get rehydration sachets, tablets, whatever they are. They cost about six quid before, and it's like... Sometimes there's nothing you can do about drinking. Sometimes it's going to spring up on you. Someone goes, yeah. oh, do you want to go get a drink? Bosh, you're in. And before mm. you know it, you know, you're in, you know, you're fucked. Yeah. But if you know you're going to plan in your drinking, have a rehydration tablet before you start drinking. Yeah. Have a rehydration tablet after you drink. Yeah. Because everyone always goes, and have a glass of water every three pints. Not going to do why, that. Why don't you fuck off? Not going to do that. Because I'm not going to actually do that. Like, oh, I might have like the occasional one at the bar, but no. Yeah. So the only way to do it is rehydration, and they, mate, they have really, really, really. So also shandies. Well, I, yeah, I've started to have um, no need zero percent beers. No, I can't stand zero percent beers. They're grim. I don't like them. Depends but, on the one. Yeah, like, true. Some of them are okay. True. Zero percent beers are really good. You can start on the first two beers. If yeah. you go basically, if you go to a group of people who you're sort of fifty percent on, right? Mm. You kind of like them. Um, but you also, I mean, this is not to sound rude, without social media, you, you would have never spoken to them after the age of 19 again. Yeah, but they've sure. been in your life because of social media, basically, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're like, well, I don't, are you worth this hangover? Mm. Start it off with two pints of, your first two pints of non-alcoholic. Non just to gauge to the room. Wet the whistle. See what's going on. And if yeah. anyone's really, if it's interesting or fun, mm. then start drinking. But don't waste, because the first two pints on a hot day, that's it. It's over. That, that's where I'm at You've my gone most down dangerous, the water. You are, that's uh, where you operate. I, I when, <laughs> when it's sunny and I've had two pints, I'm like, well, I've written off the whole day then because I'm already in. I'm like, I've already made the commitment to have two. One of them was from a plastic cup because I couldn't wait to get out of the pub I know. and into the sun again. I so know. I couldn't even... I didn't even want to stay in the in the vicinity of the building. I had to get out, uh, and at that point, yeah, it's it's all to play for. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's like the idea, especially since the the Vespa. I drive a Vespa. Yeah, I drive a motorbike. It's a motorbike. I drive a motorbike called a Vespa. Um, Hog and um, in a controlled slide. Exactly. But now that I drive that, even the one beer is off. The so if I have the one beer, oh really? Yeah, it's off the, the day. Yeah, you can't. That's be. the day. You can't. I have noticed as well in London. In the summer, people drive like fucking lunatics Dude, around honestly, London. Honestly, man, you gotta just be you got your head on a swivel. And it's like it's all it's like you want to be like, excuse me, so, sorry, it's twenty miles an hour everywhere in London. Yeah, yeah everywhere. There's, you Why are you get, revving yeah. your engine? And like, what yeah. do you think this is? I drive. You're gonna kill someone. I do. I do drive incredibly slowly, deliberately. If, on a bike, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, drive very slowly in front of some people. What? Just to piss them up? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Completely wind them up. Yeah, I do fifteen miles an hour. Yeah. Live with it. And you're not going to get around me. You're not on Portobello Road, mate. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, you can try, buddy. Yeah. But you really shouldn't be going that fast down like a basically what should be a pedestrianised road. Did you? So where were you in um, on the weekend? Were you at Port, around Portobello? Right? I was all all in West. I actually got... Um, uh, listener, you'll love this. I got um, I got recognised in uh, in the uni in the in the Union Tavern, the one over the over the canal. Just by yeah, the, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what well, someone came up to you and they were like no this group of girls were sat next to the table that we were on and um, they kept looking at me and it does happen occasionally yeah well they're like that's Coogan's mate he's uh, he's sitting down he's go, go over there is that that, yeah. the actual is that ma no yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. no they go um, uh, sorry I've just lost a bet um, but are you and whenever they start with are you I think I just uncontrollably start smiling yeah. and I get quite shaky because I get very nervous yeah uh, Are you staying on this table? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, because we're we there's a big group of us and we're actually you know, Are we're you standing at the moment. Sure. So can you stop looking over at our table, please? <laughs> Fucking weird, mate. Honestly, and you keep your 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 backs to us, so you're you're like an owl. Really, do make sure you're. Yeah. Um, Show that you the guy who does the Harry Potter stuff on TikTok, and I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a name actually, and um, um, and it turned out the, the girl that they were another girl on the table was was a girl called Millie something <clears throat> who um, not woman of the year, not Bobby Brown, and good for good. Yeah, man. Bobby Bobby Brown, Millie Bobby Brown. The bigger things to do, is, bigger fish uh, to fry. Let's talk about that and Drake though. Anyway, this girl she was um, yeah. she she had lost her leg sadly in an accident earlier in her life. Didn't ask how, and she's a very very big fitness influencer. Sure, huge on TikTok, way more famous than I am. Mm. Uh, and then she was coming to talk to me. She came to talk to you. So and, and if you're not going to go, I, talk I, I, can I tell you why? 
because comedy is more interesting than sport. Way more interesting. <laughs> I'm never going like it's. I find it funny that people like get, like I've seen it. Um, like just like photos of people like getting photos done with fitness influencers. Like, I I, can I get a picture with you? Yeah. No. Why? 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 Why are you doing, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? They're not. They're just. They've got a rig on Instagram. Yeah. That's yeah. that's all they are. Yeah. That's all they are. She seemed pretty. I mean, look, she she's overcome a lot of adversity. Like, sure, I'd fine. Get, get, but I still wouldn't have a photo with her. Nor nor. I mean, only very rare. It's only at weddings people want photos with me because they're already absolutely smashed. Oh right, yeah. But like in a more like controlled environment, no one ever has a photo. You just go, sure. oh, you're the guy, and that's funny. And I'm like, oh, that's really nice. Thank you. Cheers. Cool. That's I nice. remember saying, mate, just a little thing on this. When I first started my like acting career in earnest mm. after drama school, mm. I remember thinking, all I want in life is for someone once upon a time when I'm in a pub to come over and go, oh, I loved you in that movie. Yeah. And I thought I'd be happy once that happened. Now that happens to me quite a lot now, and it's not for exactly what I wanted. Sure. But it is for it is for so, acting and being yeah. funny. Yeah, and and, in, in, and you're writing it as well. And I'm writing almost, it as well. Almost almost better. And it's uh almost better than like someone coming up to you and be like, I really liked you in that when you were saying project. someone else's work. Yeah, that, I lo I've loved you in that project that you hated doing. Yes. Yeah, and that yeah. I thought I th you like you were good in it, but the, you it was a mess production. I, I know. Like, do you know what I mean? Like there's like oh That's really interesting, yeah. Well, it's it's almost more of a it's I think it's better if someone's coming up to you and be like, I love your work. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and also your work is literally Hundred percent, your work in that you're you're control of every aspect of it. My brain into it, into it. and like yeah, you produce it, you edit it, you direct it, you perform it, you write it. Like that's literally. And if there is a soundtrack, I'm sure you're putting out a little <laughs> over the top that you've written yourself. You're not using anyone else's such shit. A shame. Do you know what, man? I just have no musical talent. It's such shame. a shame. It's a shame. It's I, I mean, thing everyone, it's one thing I don't have. It's the thing. I I have genius level musical talent, but I just haven't pulled the trigger on it. Yeah, but that's you. You're ready to go. I'm ready to go. You took the pin out of that grenade. Yeah, and just held it. Fourteen years. Yeah, and I just like just look. Whenever I need no, 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 no. Yeah. I can't shake your hands. The grenade will literally go yeah, off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's over for you, bitches. Yeah, it's over for I'm me. I'm coming as for well. the Grammy. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Grammy. Um, speaking of Grammy, speaking of Millie Bobby Brown, Woman Music. of the Year. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Should we get into that's, it? That's Drake it's fucked a, it? It's a difficult one, isn't that's it? Drake. It's a it's, difficult this one. This is tricky, wicked Aubrey stuff. Aubrey Drake Graham. You, you mustn't. Listen, and I t uh, this is this is without, uh, I'm not, no sly look at this. Mm. You can he be texting 14-year-old girls? Tef, and he was 35 at the time. You must, you can, you can you he be. Just... You just Drake. Can't. Drake. It doesn't matter that she's famous. It doesn't matter that you're talking about, you know, boy advice. You don't do it. Just don't do it. You're putting yourself in the firing <laughs> range, Drake. <laughs> oh, God. Now, Icarus with your waxed wing, you yeah. blow too yeah. close to the sun. Now, now here's the thing. Um, with anything like this, yeah. uh, we've got to be careful because again, Do be libel, careful, libel, uh, lots of things that we're learning. We're learning right. a lot about the media in so, this show. So the way that we, we can say this is Drake is, is Drake is definitely mm. not a no, uh, no, legally no, 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 exactly. Yeah. We're not saying we're not, that. We're not saying what we're that saying is, is if you were trying to make, if you were just trying to think people that you're just like a normal rapper guy yeah, you know, can you imagine him when he was at home and he was watching her on the red carpet and she was going, oh, me and Drake talk all the time. Yeah, we text. We just texted each other the other day and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. Steady. Calm, ste calm, whoa, whoa, calm whoa, down whoa, now. Whoa, 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 screaming through the TV. Yeah, oh, please. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa. And then steady she goes, on. They go, what? Oh, my God. Can we see the text? No. no that stays no. between us. You know... That stays in the text messages. <laughs> Jesus, Millie, Millie, oh, Millie, Jesus, Millie, 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 I think um, he's fucked it. I think he's fucked it. You and Drake. That's awesome. That's awesome. I naturally would be more on the side of uh, of Kendrick in this beef. Um, yeah. Just because... Because he's a rap genius. Well, I don't know anything about Kendrick Lamar, which I quite, I quite like. Other, other than the stuff that like, he put out 
his his albums are concept albums about his life. Is it? So that's all that's all I know about him. Like Good Kid, Mad City about his life growing up in Compton, and you can kind of get a detailed picture of his, he had a hard life in Compton. Yeah. But that's all I need to know. I just yeah. all I want to know is no, I, mean, I don't I, want to see an interview with Kendrick. I don't give a fuck about that. I just no. care about his music. Yeah. Whereas Drake is too online, and he's always in the news for like gambling on like fucking is shit. He? Well, he, yeah, but oh he, yeah, famously like he, he's a bad you gambler. Know what? This geezer gets every single football bet I've ever seen him do wrong. wrong. <laughs> Basically, there's an ongoing joke now, and also like he's such a big friend. Like he says he's a Chelsea fan, then he's wearing United top, hmm. and like I'll never be the first person to say that Rio Ferdinand's a good guy. I think he's an idiot. But Rio Ferdinand did call him out being like, no, I don't like the guy. Oh, really? He came to Old Trafford and he was like, man, you're the fucking guy. I fucking, I'm, a, I'm a Manchester United fan. My, my guy in prison. Love Manchester United. And like, when you Chelsea <sighs> show the next day, it, I, honestly, this is where you need to, in the eye of the storm, mm. separate the artist from the music because I think Drake is obviously a talented chap. He's written some bangers. Uh, and he course. wants to come on here and defend his actions. Look, if you, look That's Drake, an open message. That's an open welcome. Um, we do operate an open door policy at the Run that podcast. past the producers. I will because... run it because I, I personally think they're going to tell us to fuck off. Well, I don't think they know anyone. I don't think they can get Drake. We could get Drake, though. He's watching now, probably. So he, let's and get when, him. When, when we brought his name up, he probably, he probably went, Why is a she? Oh, He's probably God, going, gonna What are they going to say, Drake? We're not going to slag you off, boy. Yeah, Drake, mate. Just Yeah, you don't text 14 year old girls. Please stop doing that. But we, you you must know, the rest of it, you know, fine. You must stop doing that. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, Kendrick, uh, yeah, his, the, the whole diss stuff is like, it's funny it's because bit, like J. Yeah, Cole tapped yeah. out immediately, didn't he? He did was he? like, Yeah, well, he, he did a diss track and then he was like, Actually, do you know what? I'm. Ah, oh, I apologise. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, actually, I, I, I'll take it off the album. Actually, yeah. Dr I, I mean, J Cole is just the the best. Uh, he's pretty good. He's well, pretty I, good. I think is, Kendrick's probably the, the the one that's the most. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't mean the level. best in terms of like genius level of, of like rapper and rap god or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The the good thing Rappers about do have a tendency to let themselves down, though, don't they? With art, yeah. Get that competition going. It is about comparison. It Everyone is, says yeah. it's not. The comparison's the thief of joy. The comparison is the is the if if yeah. listen, it's only the thief of joy if you're losing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If you're winning, yeah. trust me, comparison's bad. Gaining loads. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. we can compare our podcast to like someone else's that shit, and it's yeah. like that is feeding me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't compare myself to. I mean, again, if you're measuring the show on metrics by numbers yeah. or money, then you know you're going to be gutted. Yeah. But in terms yeah. of metrics of like what's good and what's an entertaining show, yeah, we're we're killing it actually. Killing it. So. And you can't put a quantifiable price on the joy that we generate. Do you know what I mean? There's no. Can you not? Yeah, no. You just work the loads. Because I can't loads, really do but there's I not, could really I, do with a sort of. You a, couldn't a, be like a million surgery. joy. You'd be just loads, just too much, if anything. Oh, a million joy, yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's no number, is there, to, to, to joy? Yeah. It's intangible. Do you remember it's, it used to be lira? Yeah, well, Italian lira. <laughs> yeah, buy an ice yeah. cream for like a thousand, like 1,500 lira. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember I once, I once really, really. Uh, Pissed off my mum because I said, you look like a million lira. And that's nothing. And that's like 25 quid. It's not enough money. Yeah, it's not enough money. <laughs> I know, I know. But I just, I was being flippant and I was like, oh, I don't want to say a million dollars. That's what, everyone, that, everyone says dollars. There's a line in uh, in Paul Bettany says in, um, he says the exact line in Wimbledon. He says you look like a million goes, lira. you look like a million lira. And she's like, oh, darling. And, but I think, now I understand he's I, having a go at I her. think he's having a joke I think he's saying a little witty joke oh. love Paul Bettany by the way I do love Paul Bettany Paul Bettany's class I only found out recently that he's married to who he's married to oh don't I don't want to talk about it no who is she Je is, it Jen is it Jen Connolly it's, it's, it's Jesus Christ. friend of the Christ. show Jay Connolly friend of the show Jenny Connolly I know and, and he, she's getting more and more beautiful you know what as she time is passes. some of them are though some of the real the real classic movie stars are um, just aging into it it's, really it's aging phenomenal. into it in a good way yeah Do you know who, who is we've talked I think we talked about it last one but I'm going to talk about it again Ryan Gosling no fucked it he's <sighs> That face, what's he doing? Uh, well, it, like it's obvious that he's had work done. Too much work. Which is, which is, rule one yeah. of getting work done. Yeah. Don't make it look like you have. But also, what I don't understand is why you've gone and done the work. Uh, he knew he's gone a very, very big press outlet at the moment. He's yeah. Got a full guy. He's just done fucking. Yeah. Like, why are you fucking with your face now? Because why are you, okay, are you going to your off season. I genuinely think this is a problem. Um, and I was going to talk about it earlier about um about about Drake. 
is I think when you get to a certain level of fame, you stop having people that are really good friends that give you shit mm. and you start having people that are on your payroll that are around you. Yeah, absolutely. And they're so dependent on getting paid. They'll tell you anything. They'll say, yes, yeah, mate, you look great. Yeah, of course. Because they, because they're, they're, they've got like, they're on your fucking payroll. It's in their interest. So like, I, I think it's very, very important like to have a good close circle of friends that fucking ride you for shit. And it's like, if you're, it's like Jean-Claude Van Damme, mate. He's not got anyone around him being like, Jean-Claude, Jean-Claude, sorry, um, why are you wearing a hat that has JCVD on the front of it? What Take it? that off. <laughs> you look ridiculous, Jean-Claude. You look ridiculous. <laughs> Stop hanging around with dictators in Chechnya as well. Is Jean-Claude Van Damme alive? Yeah, yeah oh yeah. Is yeah, he's only in his like 50, late late fifties. No way, he's not in his late. 50s. Yeah, I think There's I think no he way. was younger than Schwarzenegger and Stallone. He was a bit younger, so I think he I think he might be sixty now. Was he, the, seven. was he on the same level as those guys? No, he never uh, had his one massive hit, did he? He didn't have a Terminator or a Rocky, so he's not. no. But he did have some. He had Universal Soldier with Dolph Lundgren. He's about Dolph Lundgren's level. I'd okay, say. Dolph Lundgren, maybe a bit, yeah. bit, and kickboxer and love. I think he was he was oh. the one that was legit though. Like I probably actually knew what he was doing. He, he was a kickboxer for years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he and you watch him even now. He's like very, very athletic as a sixty-year-old man. Speaking of uh, kickboxing and combat sports, yes. do you give a shit about Tyson Fury and Usyk? Uh, I do. Yeah, because it's the lineal heavyweight know, yeah. boxing. I'm. So, I, I've, had, I've. I've now the bubbles popped with with Tyson Fury. I want him to lose. I actually. I, I, I think it's better for boxing if he wins. Is it better for boxing? Yeah, so because, you explain to me because I don't know why. Because because he's such a he's such an he's a weird one because he's such, on paper and well not on paper, it, 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 through watching his fights he's like the best like he should be really he's an incredible boxing talent, right? And he's had some incredible uh, fights, particularly with Deontay Wilder where yeah, he the showed get up was crazy whether he could show that he could be both the hammer and and like he could be uh, the scalpel. Yeah. yeah, like he he can fight in different ways, and he's like a giant of a man, and he he's been boxing since he was uh, literally a baby. His name is Tyson Fury. He was named after Mike Tyson. He literally is mm. like that man, and I think it's more exciting if he beats Usyk. It's such a big win because Usyk is so fantastic should we explain it for people that really don't know so what is the linear heavyweight championship of the world so with boxing you have loads of different promotions with loads of different titles like the WBC uh, mm -hmm. title the the and there's loads of other fucking like titles whereas um, and then basically so Usyk holds a few of them uh, Tyson holds a few of them so it's like if if whoever wins gets all the belts basically and it's like they're meaning they're lineal meaning they are the 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 are, are undisputed heavyweight champion? But because if if someone else has it on the belt, it's disputed. Do you know what I mean? Yes, but but Tyson would have had Usyk's belt had he not had it stripped of him when he uh, did a bunch of cocaine and got fat. I th yeah, that's the yeah, point. Uh, yeah, so he of. that's why he is still undefeated without all the belt because technically he is one. He he's. Um, he had to go win it again off Dante Wilder. He yeah, had to go yeah, win yeah. it again, yeah. but it was already his. Yeah, yeah, and then he lost it. He yeah, had, yeah. He's never actually lost the belt. The last Usyk has it because yeah. AJ had it twice. Yeah. yeah. And then this is the one to say everyone. The last, and then whoever wins this exactly. fights AJ. And the, the last lineal heavyweight champion we had was um, well, I say, I wasn't say it? We. Uh, don't tell me. Was it? Was it? Was it? Um, what a UK one? Yeah. Well, Lennox. Yeah, but he wasn't. I say we. I mean globally, he was the last heavyweight champion, he had, and he happens to be British. That's so sick. Lennox Lewis. Yeah, Lennox was fucking great, mate. Lennox so I didn't really know enough good. about box. He's sort of like the uh, the late nineties. He was in the late nineties, and I was I was well, way too young. I remember watching a fight. A Lennox Lewis. He fought Frank Bruno when I would have been about. I guess like God, six. Frank Bruno must have been getting on at that point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bless him. Um, <laughs> and I watched it with my dad, and, and we were in like Corfu or something. I can't, yeah, it was quite sick. Yeah, that is yeah. cool. And my dad got rip roaringly drunk with my uncle. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, they came home, and my mum was furious. <laughs> I just don't know if I can be like, I see a friend that invited me to go to the pub. He's like, I don't want to watch thing. I, I have dinner that night anyway, but I don't know. I think Fury is just like a twat, to be honest with you. His The show Keeping Up the Furies, I watched one episode of mm. it. It was the most contrived, scripted piece of shit in the whole world. I mean, I never watched it. I if don't... you look back at like the Osbournes, that now. Is at the time everyone slated it, reality TV shit. But mm. compared to where the dross is now, where you've got to in the absolute pitfalls of humanity, the fucking Osborns was really real, man. Yeah. It was, that was fucking there. To be Whereas fair. Fury is is just absolute utter tripe. And his I'm retired, I'm not retired, I'm in this for the money, I'm only a true boxer. Mm. Like 
it doesn't make you enigmatic and it doesn't make you this you're, you you think you're the you think you're Muhammad Ali but Muhammad Ali was like a poet and whereas Tyson's just yeah. an idiot I think genuinely well, I, he's just an idiot I mean I think I think uh, uh, with, with with regards to fighters like uh, like combat sports athletes I you can't you've got to be quite hands off with it I feel because anyone that fights for a living is going to be a bit of a weird person they're not going to be a role model do you know what I think is weird I think I genuinely think Anthony Joshua is weird it's probably, yeah of course I but, think, but, but it's like I a what, what I like about Anthony Joshua is that he started to embrace the fact that he's like a bit like he's like yeah fuck it I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be this like clean cut um, like Olympic gold medal like, like Olympic champion I, I'm going to just be myself and I can prefer prefer that at least but I think if you're a boxer if you're, if you're an MMA fighter you're going to be odd odd you're yeah. going to be odd and the idea that they have to be role models is really stupid they fight other men they literally have to step in a cage or a ring and try and turn off another man's brain to be honest with you That's... in terms of role models it just yeah I'm, oh yeah actually it's weird. Hey, this is um you're hurting people <clears throat> for a living um I, I was wondering if they should change the wording to win by knockout to saying win by knocking them unconscious because that changes the dynamic. This is the only argument. It, well, it's not MMA, marketable, though, is it? <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying. But yeah, for yeah. in general terms, yeah. in terms of the way of like football, they are saying we're not going to let under twelves head the ball anymore. And if someone gets knocked on the nose, then you have to stop playing a boxer's head injury. Why? Why head the ball? Because you can clash heads. No, nah, because of the ball. I mean, it's, no, the ball can hurt, can ball. Like, damage your brain. Yeah, of course, yeah, massively so. But makes sense. Boxing is still literally win by KO, win by knocking them unconscious, switching yeah. off their brain. Yeah. That's winning. That's the only argument for MMA over thing. MMA you is submit, more brutal. Yeah. It's more disgusting. And actually, I think it is. I, I I know you enjoy it. I actually think it's disgusting. I have a, I have a, I have a mixed <clears throat> relationship with it because sometimes... But at I, least when I you get knocked it. out, you get knocked the fuck out. I, you I, have, there's no 10 count to get back up. Mm. If you're out, you're out, which is actually... So you best, get less brain damage. Well, less brain damage. But I do think it's disgusting. I do think it's barbaric. And I do think it's I just do, yeah, for... Me, for me, I have, I have, I'm have. conflicted <clears throat> with it now. I, I, I think because... Sometimes it, I just can't watch it. It makes me feel a bit like uncomfortable. And me other times, I, I, I like you know, you see like the best of, of the best of humanity sometimes in it, in terms of like rising to a challenge and and overcoming like a horrible situation to be able to like to win. It's like overcoming massive adversity on a on a on a on a on a very yeah. very highly dangerous like scale. Which yeah. is something there's something fascinating about that. Well, there's something actually in terms of medieval about that of like right. You can be. This is. I'm going to be a knight. Bring back the Colosseum. Bring, bring it back. Well, the Colosseum right, just, never went away. Now they call it X Factor, and yeah. where the bewildered are wielded out in front of millionaires to be laughed at, and sneered at. Not my words. Ricky no, no, Ricky Gervais. The extras. Um, yeah, yeah, extras. Yeah. yeah. yeah Although the Colosseum different. did very much go away. I mean, let's not. Let's be. Let's be real. The Colosseum. Yeah, the Colosseum was. Um, I've never been to Rome, but um, I did. Um, I think 2022. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. You did. And it was incredible. Was it? It. Well, I. 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 I I, you know when you, you're in London and you're like, oh, there's loads of landmarks, mm. right? But there's like, every now and again, there'll be a landmark in London. In Rome, I didn't really, I thought it would be like that. But in Rome, everywhere is ruins. Like there's, there's like ancient Roman ruins everywhere in the city. You can't like look around without seeing them. They're just everywhere. Yeah. So it's fascinating. And we went... Well, bearing um, in mind that the Romans made Rome, yeah. then made Londinium. Yeah. So they're way fucking older than we are. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like way, way, way also, fucking older than Rome, we are. Has the best nickname of all cities, the the Eternal City. That's so sick. How fucking it? sick is that? The Eternal City's yeah. bad and boy. And their food is sensational. That is bad boy. Yeah, their food is sensational. The, the, I think it might be the best in terms of like walking around anywhere you go. It's like little tiny little trattorias or or like little pasta bars, and you just eat the sickest thing ever. Yeah, and it, it won't necessarily even be that expensive. And you like we went to like a like a yeah like a little. A little restaurant, and they had like a little old nana coming out front. She was just making pasta, like yeah. at the front of the restaurant. Like, I mean, that's what that's that's, that's, that's literally, old. honestly, that, those the recipes have been passed down to grandmother to grandmother. Yeah, so that's nice. amazing, so good. And you're a girl who once dream was to get to Rome. She got to Rome, and all she did was look at a phone. Drake, stop texting kids. Stop texting kids. Bobby, Drake. let us. Um, I believe there is either some fan mail or there is some agony aunt. Well, um, let's let's get into it. It's an agony aunt, and a, and a, what 
it's 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 funny that you should you should bring it up. Let's not laugh at like, them. Let's not well, laugh at them. Laugh after the show. Well, the, the reason the reason I say that is I like and it is a show. I like good writing, as you of course know. you do. I, I love a well meticulously crafted email. Yeah. The whole thing that's going on with Drake and Kendrick Lamar at the moment. I think more men should set other issues with poetry. Correct. I think that's a lovely thing. So today we've had a lovely letter. Okay. It's well written. Okay. And they, it shows that our listeners and watchers, yeah, because it is a show. Yeah. Uh, are paying attention. Yeah. Because do you remember what we said last last time? Sort of just saying to them, fucking just like tune a little bit harder, work just a bit harder. work a bit harder. I don't, I, <coughs> we, I'm so sick we're, of, we're doing our half of it. Can, yeah. You can do I'm yours. I'm sick of there. hearing from actors. Do you know what I mean? As I, I said, am sick. Well, it got, I, I've been sick of actors since I, since I knew what they were. Yeah. I'm sick of them. I'm sick. You know, I'm sick of actors. I said I want farmers. I, I mean, there's enough of us already. I want. It's very quiet at the moment. I want and farmers. I'm, and you, you, you're really getting in my way. It's funny you should mention farmers. Out on their out on their tractors so, at the doors. So go on. First question. Go on. And only question, actually. Jesus. Because we had three others, but I'd burn them. <laughs> Don't send physical posts. He will burn them without reading them. Physical post. I, I, <laughs> how much clearer can I be? How much clearer can I be? Um, question. <laughs> Uh, dear Matt and Harvey, I've been having a crisis of faith of sorts over the last few years. As a keen listener of your show, and it is a show, Correct. I've always looked forward to the Agony Aunt section in the hope that someone else would share my problem. But so far, the only people writing in seem to be actors, which is strange given the breadth of expertise. It's clear that you both have. Jesus, that's a good point. Great point. Great point. Having decided to stop relying on the whims of the universe and take matters into my own hands, I write to you with the following conundrum. I am currently a livestock farmer, but I can't seem to make money that I always dreamed of working in rural agriculture. Do I keep relentlessly ploughing ahead, no pun intended, or do I shift careers? Maybe I'd find success in soil science. Your advice is much appreciated as always. Sincerely, and I do mean sincerely. Farmer John. John, um, thank you so much <laughs> for your question. Um, oh, John. It's nice to hear from the farmers of the world and, and the UK. I, you know what? The thing is, they do such an important job. It is such a lonely job. It is. Um, and luckily, you know, we can help. We can help, yeah. I'll let you take the lead on it. Sure. I would <laughs> say um, if you are struggling to make ends meet, as we all are in this current post-Brexit climate, particularly sure. farmers, they get the forefront of it. I'm sure you can't sell your lovely lamb to uh, to France sure. anymore, which I think is what the problem is, isn't sure. it? I, I, you That's know, the crux of it, yeah. I think the, 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 the lamb law in this country is really, really constrained these days, and, it's, and it should be... It's not, it's, just, it's not governed by reason. It's not it's, governed it's, by it's reason. It, it, it yeah, should yeah. be governed by, by reason. Uh, I would say, if you want to make money, um, if you want to switch careers, um, you can do. You can do. Um... Uh, you could retrain as um, I think there's a lot of money in dancing at the moment as we as we as we as we um, uh, dancing ice we're always dancing, looking for dance, dancing looking on ice up. yeah I mean it's dangerous as shit obviously but no more dangerous than a combine harvester I wasn't actually uh, listening to the question he, want, he wants to change the career he's, well he said uh, he said uh, there's not enough or money she, he's not or she. yeah it was Farmer John he, or sorry. she Jesus do you want to go to jail well all right do you like your freedom yeah, or she careful mate yeah yeah it's, you have to um, having decided to stop relying on it she yeah uh, uh, she says. Um, <laughs> I'm currently a livestock farmer and can't seem to make the money that I always dreamed of working okay, in rural agriculture. Okay, 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 well, you, okay, like, okay Like most okay, people. Okay, This is such a quick fix. Go on. I can't even tell you. This is so easy. Go, go, go for it. <laughs> you take your livestock, yeah. cows, sheep, whatever it is, yeah. down to the local town, right? Yeah. You number these sheep, yeah. goats, whatever, in in ascending order. Sure. Um, in, in, in paint, but you leave out like the three, the seven, the eight. You just yeah. go one, two, three, four, five, eight. Right? Yeah. You release them into the town. You release the, release release the sheep the into the town, right? Why wouldn't you? They're causing havoc. There's hundreds of them. They're going fucking mental. Yeah. And they say, how on earth are we going to get these sheep out of this town? They're ruining everything, sure. right? Yeah, they, yeah, it's a nightmare. That's when you come in. You say, I can get these sheep back out of here for a price. For a price. Oh, right? cool. And you say, I want, you know, a hundred pounds a sheep or a thousand pounds a sheep. I don't know what your margin is. I think a thousand. Right? I think a thousand. It a thousand, sounds nice. A thousand of sheep, number, nice and it? clean, right? Yeah, so lovely, you, clean that, you get the 15,000 pounds for to get the sheep back in the van. They're very well trained sheep, by the way. You know, they know what they're doing. You're easy to get them back out. You mm. get your dogs on it. It's not like herding now, cats, what, herding sheep. Sh 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 then 
they all spend the next year yeah. looking for sheep eight and sheep 14 and sheep 17. They don't exist. But so you what, keep them on a retainer and no, you say, I will keep it. looking for this sheep yeah, for I want a thousand pounds a week. I want a salary now. But I want a salary. <laughs> I want a salary now. I'm not salary now. Yeah, I'm not now, doing it per now. sheep basis anymore. You take those sheep that were fine, or those lambs, or whatever they are, the go- the goats, and you 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 still cultivate. Yeah, you're still doing your day job, and you you're put still, them back. You release them still, back into the village. You're still cut. You still cutting and chopping them, right? You're making some money off them. Yeah. But every so often, you get one sheep and label it number eight. And you make a big song of dance about finding that sheep. And yeah. you go, found him. Exactly. Found him. Everyone loves a lamb lunch. Or her. Or her. Uh, or her. Or her. And um, that is sort of your sort of surefire way to to get two dual incomes from yeah. the same sheep. Yeah. I, 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 I would have uh, another sort of uh, remedy as well. Go I, on. I mean, do retrain. Uh, I feel that the, the livestock industry is a bit old hat, isn't it? It's a bit out. Out bit, of date. bit dusty bit, bin. Bit dusty. Um, coal mining as well. You've got the land for it, I imagine. <laughs> Just instead of lambs. Coal mining's coming back, baby. Coal mining's coming back in a Can huge Can I tell you why? Way. Because um, electric cars may think they're on the up, but they are, um, they're they are made from making people in Africa dig down into copper mines exactly. to, to fund them, and then they're charged off the grid, and the grid is made by 3% wind turbine energy and the rest guess what yeah. is made of the fucking fossil fuels exactly. so um and now we're getting rid of the congestion charge for the electric cars my advice to everybody is to yeah. get a fucking vespa and be like the rest of europe and then trust me traffic yeah. will dissipate exactly through this uh lovely fine city of ours uh, but don't get electric cars because they're shit yeah um, oh, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really believe in that, and also I don't want to give any money, any more money to Elon Musk. I don't want to give any more money to the mayor of London, who is oh, really? just unbearable. Yeah. I, I did, did you? Oh, that was it. Was a vote, wasn't it recently? Yeah, I'm not going to say who I voted for. But no, why would you? Can, you? you can, you know, I don't count I, Binface, was it? I, <laughs> legitimate candidate. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's um, an anarchy vote, isn't it? I guess protest vote. I thought I had a question. You had a question. I thought I did. I mean, I do... Tr- I think we've solved Farmer John's... No, she's fine. You know, she, she's nailed... She's, she's, she's sort of either going to be a dancer now or release some wildlife into the, uh, into the, into the village. The really, village. I really, I really think you should be doing the second one. I really think that... I, I, I've, I've, it's sort of like an exterminator job, isn't it? But um, yeah. you could even... Yeah, I think, I think it's a good one. You've not got... You not got a- it was from... It was something like... Oh, but it was to do with acting... Okay. Um, not acting. Um, yeah. There's too many of you. I'm not getting the auditions that I want. <laughs> you know what? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, also, <laughs> the, the funniest thing at the moment is watching people who were too cool for school their entire lives, right? People who were really, really fucking cool, I, a.k.a. musicians. Uh, right? uh, and now they're on TikTok. I, 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 I genuinely actually feel sorry for, for musicians. And I never thought I'd say that because they're normally just like so arrogant. Mm. And just think they're so cool because you can. Uh. I'm going to say something that's going to wind you up immediately. Do you know who I feel sorry for? Go on. Spoken word poets. Why? Uh, exactly. You've wound up. I, no, I just said it to wind you up. No. I don't actually feel sorry for them. I have one spoken word poet friend called, called the poet, the George, George the poet. George the poet. George the poet on TikTok. So she's who's, pretty. Who's, who, he's very talented. He's, he's a very talented man and does spoken word poetry. Um. Harvey, that sort of brings us to again. We're probably missing a lot of topics. Oh, um, but look, we're gonna we can get to the next time. But this is an ongoing basis. This is an ongoing show. Yeah, so yeah. Anything we skip, we probably forget about entirely, and then not bring it up next episode either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As is normal. As is the normal. Yeah. Um, listen, thanks for being with us here today. Uh, whenever you're listening to us, um, if yeah, that's kind of. I mean, any closing thoughts? I think we got we we solved some real fucking issues I there. I tell you what if you are strapped for cash I just just so you know I won't charge you for it but the the releasing sheep into any town that that's that's, that's a that's, fucking gold idea you, you can put that anywhere you know you can you know interchange it with mice interchange it with ants yeah, yeah. You, you I was oh, I was going to say as well maybe as well um, if you've got loads of different livestock and yeah. we, talk, we talked about it briefly like moving getting them in together like get the sheep in with the cows or whatever mm. maybe you could sort of like try and crossbreed some sort of like new species yeah. and then then maybe you could get, you could have a cow and a lamb or sheep have sex and then you get like a bigger lamb and then you've got more produce to um, to sell 
uh, to to Britain because we're we're we can't sell our meats to uh, to 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 Europe anymore. There were other shame. people that I could have had as, as the co-host for this. I just I landed on Harvey early doors and then he signed that contract, so he's here now. I'm but locked in. You thanks can't, very just yeah. sh- 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 thanks very much for watching and then listening, and we'll see you again next week for more of the same probably. Yeah. Uh,